Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. And so, guys, want to apologize. You just have me today. Uh, Cindy is busy elsewhere, but I will try to blast through this as best as I can. Uh, this was the War for Humanity's Freedom of Choice. It was our first um, official drop over on Patreon. And we're going to be trying to do this um, probably twice a week uh, as far as these drops. And so it, it's like a debut and we will be there with the Patreons interacting, answering questions uh, during these drops. It was a lot of fun and we did have like 79 comments. So it was some good conversation for an impromptu first go. By the way, we want to thank Steve, our newest Patreon. Uh, Mount Etna this morning is erupting and I just thought this was symbolic of everything that's going on in this world because the world is erupting and in fact it's it's boiling over. Um, it does really feel that something has been lit so to speak and uh, it's going to be hard to put the genie back in the bottle uh, when you see all that's going on right now especially geopolitically um, but you do have, if you are in Florida and in the southeast U.S., you have to be mindful of Tropical Storm Debbie, which is probably going to turn into a Cat 1 hurricane, hurricane. And these times, you know, even saying that um, is, is something that puts you out there because who knows? I mean, we saw Hurricane Michael go from Tropical Storm in about the same area to okay, really Cat 5. Uh, in no time. I, I don't think that's going to happen this time. Uh, I haven't felt anything into this storm that feels uh, very, very significant, like it's anything like that. But always be mindful in these times because it's crazy out there. I thought this was about as telling as you can get. It is uh, Elon Musk showing video of what's supposed to be Mars. And it says, home sweet home that you can't get any more honest than that elon musk speaking about mars saying home sweet home and for those of you that may be watching us for the first time uh yeah we're a little out there compared to most mainstream or even those that are on the awakening side of things uh, because again we we do take a lot of the myths and legends at face value because I think they were meant to be taken at face value uh, and so when we when we look to Mars we think of the GG we think of that group of lesser quote-unquote um, gods so to speak that rebelled against the Anunnaki and also uh, came to earth to be part of the control system so Elon saying home sweet home is, in my mind, it's, it's just acknowledging the fact that he is what we would term an Ajiji. And, you know, it's, it's again right in front of our face. Everything is always in front of our face. Now Elon, by the way, says UK civil war is inevitable. I would have to beg to defer because I don't think this is really a civil war. Uh, what's been going on is a silent invasion, so to speak, for a long time, just like in the U.S., and now it's absolutely erupting out there. And what they're doing now, too, is, you know, this is, this is a big part of, of the next stage in their plan. Uh, the last video that we put out was immediately demonetized and what they do say too is the, the views, the, the ability for people to see it has been restricted. You know, most channels out there, if I had to take an average, I would say most channels have about 40 to 60 percent of uh, viewership is by people that is, are subscribed. With our channel, it's 95%. So basically, if you're not subscribed to us, I don't think that we pop up in feeds as a suggestion. This is because, again, we're kind of spilling the beans a little bit too much and the system wants to penalize us for that. So please do share, like, subscribe everywhere you can and keep awakening the planet. 
the only only way we escape from this uh, plan is by awakening others. It takes a lot of people to understand what really is going on and the fact that this is not spontaneous. This is something that's been planned for far longer than most people can uh, even fathom. So here you go. The U UK is at risk of sliding into a civil war, so says Elon Musk. Tesla, SpaceX CEO, richest man in the world. Um, you know what? What can you say about Elon? Uh, you know he's he's everywhere, and people seem to value his opinion very highly. Overall, for somebody that is is not an official po politician of any sort, several cities in the UK, including Liverpool, Nottingham, Leeds, Belfast, Stoke on Trent. Uh, Blackpool and Hull were plunged into chaos uh, after that horrible event in Southport uh, left three children gone and several others injured. It was uh, carried out, that attack was carried out by a 17-year-old that was born in Britain to Rwandan parents. And, and they, w they always want to stress that, uh, you know, again, what we have to do is, is look at things differently and realize that all, all, the, all the countries of the world that we have right now, you know, uh, it, it's just so arbitrary in so many ways. It, they, it's a manufactured situation. And it is a situation uh, that really stokes the fires of, of just keeping people at each other's throats so to speak and you know this is completely completely manufactured when when you understand these gigantic shifts in population and how they are planned at the highest level what, what you have going on is a un operation to move people from one country to another and one section of the globe i should really say because again the countries. Uh, they're always changing. Elon also says Rome fell because the Romans stopped making Romans. Well, yeah, again, it it's repeating itself. And you might say, you know, it's just simply uh, one of my mom's favorite sayings was, you know, history repeats itself because of the ignorance of those that don't know the history. But the reality is, um, most people don't know the history and even us that have studied the history and can tell you certain dates, you know, uh, like 1066, William the Conqueror, you know, Battle of Hastings, all these different things. When you look at it really closely, a lot of these things may be manufactured and may be scripted and may not even be the, the real uh, history. We might not know the real history except for the fact that it, it's constantly being revised and rewritten. And so what we can take from this is, is that the planning and the methodology of what we're seeing happen right now is something that repeats all the time. Every year the birth rate is dropping, and, and this is true because most of the world is in decline as far as uh, it, it, the, the population is declining. Some areas quicker than others, you know, specifically um, the more industrialized nations and the NATO nations and those aligned with NATO countries seem to be having the biggest population drop. And it, it did happen in Rome as well. And, you know, the Roman system is the same system we have today. And again, that Roman system truly uh, came from the Fertile Crescent area. It came from, again, the Sumerian civilization before it. Uh, via Greece and and nothing is new under the sun that is for sure so it, it's interesting to note <clears throat> everything coming out of Elon at this time as he is very important in the plans of the system the Civil War did not settle the question of state secession this is from Zero Hedge and what they're talking about is the fact that like many marriages sometimes there's incompatibility and you just find uh, that you no longer can get along and just simply very different remember the movie civil war uh cindy and i did watch it it was horrible it was atrocious it was sickening and disgusting and it was numbing it was like soul numbing yet it is really what what is planned in so many ways for this 
uh, this particular country, and apparently, you know, the UK too, although I, I have a harder time of seeing this as a civil war over in the UK than the US, but the reality is too, there are those that have deep dived into our civil war and don't view it as a civil war at all, but really it was a rebellion against the system, part of a bigger rebellion against the system that failed, and, you know, the system kept its power. So when you look to these states in secession here, Alaska leads the way. 36% of Alaskans say they would love to secede and leave the United States, followed by Texas at 31%. And then from what I've seen here, the next is actually California. Uh Uh-huh. And New York is at 28, the same as Oklahoma. So isn't that curious? Because that movie was based on... uh, California and Texas uh, leaving the nation. Now, so much hinges on the election because you can tell if, no matter what happens in the election, if there is an election, uh, it's going to leave a lot of people up in arms and dissatisfied. That is so, so obvious. So many people have tried to make new maps of different, uh, you know, how it's going to be drawn out. You know, it's interesting. We've talked about the Russian professor that, like, gosh, I think it was almost 50 years ago now, uh, 40 years anyway, said that the U.S. is going to fall apart just like the Soviet Union be divided into blocks that will become under power and sway of different entities, including uh, Europe, you know, for New England. And then some is going to be controlled by Russia, some by China, some by Mexico. Hmm, interesting. You know, a lot of people would would not mind seeing the country disintegrate. <clears throat> well, the reality is I, I, the system is one system. And I think, again, breaking it down into smaller pieces is a good idea in some ways. Again, hard to have a small minority of people control the masses if there's too many different smaller units to control. And yet what we have going on now is just, it, it's it's just totally insane. And there's so many videos. Um, I, I want to be very careful uh, because there's a, a lot of Um, nastiness out there right now. Now, when we were saying before, and we've been saying for a long time, I don't think it's a good idea to be in big cities at this point in time. And we were specifically talking uh, to the U.S., also to the U.K., and really any of the the NATO-aligned countries, because it feels like a lot of this war that's that's being planned is is being planned to to happen on nato soil which is going to be something that's a little different from what we've seen uh except for going back to what uh was the last world war <clears throat> when yes much of it was fought on europe uh, european soil also there was a the pacific theater as well you know here you have people arbitrarily attacking middle eastern restaurants because they're angry about the immigrant situation. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to go to mom and pop restaurants uh, that are established by people from other countries that cook the cuisine in a real authentic way. I mean, to me, there there was probably very, very little in life that I enjoyed more than doing that, uh, especially when we were on like road trips and, and exploring new restaurants and 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 just connecting with people from other parts of the globe it's just fabulous i think there is a diversity which is uh, it's fun and exciting because again as much as you love pizza if you ate it every single day it would get a little dull so i think diversity is wonderful it's to be cultivated and enjoyed but we have to understand we're part of something bigger and we need to act in a very symbiotic way the system is the one that gives us darwinian evolution there is evolution and hey there has been creation as well Uh, there's both and yet darwinian evolution is survival of the fittest as that just decided to pop up on its own um, is survival of the fittest and it's in 
all about competition, but when we look to nature, and I've used the analogy of, of the body, you don't have the liver uh, competing against the lungs and the heart fighting it out with the spleen. That's just stupid to consider something like that. But we live on a planet that is a single entity. So when we start to recognize this and operate as a unit for the betterment of it all, which is not going to work with the way this world is divided. Uh, no, we have to unify, but we don't want to unify in, in, underneath one of their systems, and all systems are their systems. Whether it's capitalist, communist, socialist, whatever it is, it's just an illusion, because it doesn't matter if you're in Russia or China, or the U.S. or the U.K., there is an oligarchy. There is uh, an elite class that controls uh, and, and operates through these secret societies and also through outright bribery. I mean, we have an election system which has legalized bribery in it. It really is. That, that's what we have going on. This really hit me and this really... Um, felt uh, kind of ominous. China is extremely concerned with civil unrest in the UK and attacks on ethnic minorities. We urge the UK government to do everything in their capacity to ensure the safety of minorities. China reserves the right to intervene if the situation in the UK doesn't improve? Hmm. That's... What do you think of that? So China's going to go on UK soil and, and calm things down. Yeah, uh, we Cindy and I have both gotten, again, that you're going to see foreign armed forces in, in the United States, and I would not doubt in the UK as well. So who is this? This is Zhao Dashui, People's Armed Police Propaganda Bureau. <laughs> Propaganda. Ah, uh, yes. But again, it's the bigger picture. Many people have talked about the UN coming in and some sort of manufactured crisis with the UN coming in to basically uh, assure the peace and to help those that cannot help themselves. So everything is propaganda. I mean, no, no politician speaks without propaganda coming out of their mouth. I, I just think that's the way the world is. China imported 53 tons of gold from the UK in May. From the UK? Why would the UK even want to let any of their gold go away? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, chances are there's going to be more political instability. We know there's going to be a new financial system. Uh, this makes no sense in all, at all, unless, again, you know, the politicians at the highest levels understand the plan, which they do. Uh, there was what's being called a hammer and axe attack by a group of migrants against mass immigration protesters in Stoke. Um, you know, what's what's out there in these videos is is disgusting and um, it, it's very scary. This is, again, why we were saying do if you don't have to be in the major cities it's a good idea not to be in the major cities our uh one of our beloved best friends on the planet uh we were talking to her yesterday and she she uh, escaped from the la area and uh you know no desire to go back uh none you know and that was really good to hear because this was a big change uh pace for her um, but getting away from all the signals and the frequency has made a big, big difference in, in her health, in, in her clarity, and in, in every way. In the cities, I do think that there are frequencies that are being amplified that are just goading people into this as well. So there's, there's chaos. I mean, it is just chaotic out there. And the division is, is just, it, it's a byproduct of a long hatched, well, uh, we're watching it hatch, but a long, um, real long term plan that is still ongoing, even though so many people know what's going on. The British police are going door to door in Sun Sunderland, arresting people they suspect of crimes in connection with the anti-mass immigration protests. 
And yet, there's also statements by those that have been watching these things going on firsthand that on the other side of things, they're not going after um, the other side that has been conducting uh, as well attacks on, on other people. So, you know, it's just a crazy, crazy situation out there. Um, lots of attacks going on, armed attacks, bloody attacks. Uh, there are two people that were found, uh, at least two, uh, that no longer have their heads. This is, and this is again in the UK. Um, yeah, and I think it's going to be a while before it settles down. Let us put um, out there the positive intentions that it will settle down. This is Liverpool. Um, yeah, it's just reached the boiling point. It's just reached the boiling point. And, you know, is there any going back? And I'm not sure why all these are, are redoing this. This is really kind of weird. But I know what they want to do is, is get a clip going that they can then um, take down the video. Uh, this is what they've done to many people uh, that were showing things in regards to the Olympics and ceremonies. So here you have Catholics and Protestants marching shoulder to shoulder in Belfast, Northern Ireland. They were, they were you know, just a generation ago, 20 years, 30 years ago, um, they were at each other's throats. And now it's, it's, they're unifying because there's a new, um, there's a new disruptive element uh, that is there. And again, when it comes to the immigrant migrants, there's probably a, a small percentage uh, that are what we would call sleeper cells, you know, with the intent of, of you know, <laughs> doing what sleeper cells do, which is cause havoc, disruption behind the lines, so to speak. Often that's done before an official invasion. You always send in those to target certain areas. Uh, disrupt critical infrastructure, energy, food. Again, we've seen all this happening for a long time now. And, you know, so many of these people, though, the vast majority are really just trying to escape because, you know, they've been in an area that has gone through all the same war and all the devastation that it brings. Uh, so, you know, this this is very, very difficult. Uh, these are these are tough times and so Stu Peters here this isn't a joke this is World War three as you see uh, actually there's been non-stop Russian heavy aircraft transport transporting a lot of weaponry and supplies into Iran the same thing is going on on the other side uh, you know I had a whole bunch of flights up but I just don't you know think we need to go every single flight but it, it, there's a lot of equipment there's more troops heading over more navy assets than i've ever seen heading over in that direction it's just crazy it, it really is the build-up that's going on and for the first time iran has publicly announced that they have nuclear weapons so you have Ahmed Ardestani, Iranian politician, saying, we have obtained nuclear weapons, but we do not announce it. Well, you just kind of did. And again, it, they are so intertwined with Russia and China that do, obviously. Russia has more nuclear weapons than any country on the planet. And again, they've been shipping nonstop. And so... You know, here you have Iran has requested received Iskander ballistic missile from Russia. And over here you have a context. So every time I see these contexts, I think, okay, <laughs> by putting that little context mark in there, you say, this is real, because that's actually what they're doing, because we know how the system is with those little wikis. This is what the system does. Um, hypersonic missiles as well and uh, very odd that every single one of these is refreshing but uh, this is not me this is them so you know will it be a hypersonic attack I, I think that they've had a hypersonic attack planned the whole entire time everything is telegraphed uh, I still think um, that they're having a hard time 
keeping to their timeline, but it seems like a lot of things have been delayed instead of, you know, actually stopped. So let's keep putting our positive intentions out there and at the same time let us keep awakening others now over here you have multiple helicopters damaged during a storm this is fort carlson in, in colorado variety of aircraft damaged including apaches chinooks and blackhawks and it, it is interesting too that they always uh, name certain weapons of war uh, either mythological beings uh or you know native tribes you know apaches chinooks it, it's what the system does as the system conquers and assimilates so is that a weapon <laughs> weaponized weather which is something that is a reality that people are are realizing now over here you have Iranian-backed groups in Syria shooting down U.S. spy balloon, and we've seen spy balloons over the U.S. So, you know, there's spy balloons being deployed all over the place. I've seen some unusual radar signals on ADSBEC exchange, and, and that, shows, um, that shows movement of flights. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it's at a different level. Meanwhile, you have people protesting uh, for peace everywhere as well. And so, you know, peace is what we need because this war, I, I, I really think this war is a desperation uh, ploy by the system because the system is losing control of the minds of the masses. And so it's one of the last cards that they can play. Now, it, it, it's said that Josh Shapiro uh, is perhaps the number one choice uh, for Kamala Harris as VP. He has volunteered to serve in the Israeli military, and many people are pointing that out. Many people are pointing out this, that J.D. Vance volunteered to serve in the American military, and many people are pointing out J.D. Vance's eyeliner as well. And just the fact that there's a very weird energy about him, and many people do not feel comfortable with his energy. You also have reports stating that Iran received the Murmansk Strategic Electronic Warfare System from the Russian Federation. So, you know, absolutely, I think uh, everything and anything is going to be unveiled in, in the war to come. And the other side of the war against humanity. The weather warfare, you see, uh, that hasn't slowed down. That That's actually speeding up. This is up in Himachal Pradesh, and you have a dam breaking, flooding uh, the Parvati Valley. And how many floods, how many wildfires. This is in Madrid. This is the subway system or train system or whatever they call it. Tubes are over in the UK. I'm not sure what they call it. But, oh, El, Mel El Metro, I guess that's what they call it but you can see we've seen so many of these events everywhere and then you have the president at this time over in Venezuela or head figurehead Nicolas Maduro putting out some interesting uh, tweets about speeches, speeches about Elon here Elon Musk is nothing but a product of the Pentagon. The story about how intelligent he is and how he created the rocket technology, uh, they can tell that tale to someone else. Well, you know, is he a product of the Pentagon? Uh, yeah, I would, I would venture to say sure. CIA, FBI, you know, the, the real control system behind the control system, again, is really uh, what Elon is all about, but he is to be a figurehead in these times of transition. They're really times of transition, major transition. I mean, the world is going to come to the understanding and know unequivocally that we are not alone and that extraterrestrials are real, interdimensionals are real. It's already been out there, but you'll see them. They will, they will announce them to the public. It, that's part of the big... Uh, the big plan for the next phase after the war and so here you have him calling out elon musk when, when we learn that you know elon musk is the richest person on the planet and, and number two is bezos and occasionally bezos has been ahead of elon 
And Bezos, as it turns out, you know, again, the, the relationship with DARPA from his family line. Yeah, this is just the way the system is. These people are not uh, rags to riches stories. No, they're seeded. They're planted for who they are. They are part of the control system at, at the highest levels, and their families always have been. Look at this guy. Jimmy Durante came back as a monkey. Wow. What kind of monkey is that? I don't know. He must have a good sense of smell, though. And he smells something fishy going on. Here you have an otter helping a mommy cat with her kittens. If different species can get along, humans can. The problem is humans are being manipulated by a different species. More specifically, Homo sapiens is being manipulated by a different species, multiple species. So again, that recognition and realization of what is going on is of prime importance. As soon as humanity realizes this is all about keeping us fighting ourselves so the real control system doesn't have to do much but just manipulate the pieces from behind the scenes as soon as more people understand this then we can really shift into a new paradigm look forward to your comments thanks for putting up with me <laughs> much love source bless and namaste